Namaste, a very happy Sharan Navaratra Utsava to all of you. We are celebrating the very auspicious Sharan Navaratra Utsava. There are many styles of uh, celebrating Navaratra. There are many regional styles, many Guru Paramparas, many Pauranic styles, many Agama styles, Tantra styles. Whatever is our style, whatever is our accessible to us, easy to us, natural to us, we can adapt to that. One of the very popular uh, aspects of Navaratra is to worship her in the Navadurga forms. Prathamam Shaila Putri Chadvitiyam Brahmacharini Tritiyam Chandra Ghanteti Ushmandeti Chaturthakam Panchamam Skandamateti Shashtam Katyayaniti Cha Saptamam Kalaratishcha Mahagauriti Chashtamam Navamam Siddhi so today we are in the second day of the Sharan Navratra Utsava where we worship her as Brahmacharini, Dvitiyam Brahmacharini. We saw yesterday how uh, the terrible Tarakasura was invincible and he was very very extremely violent and creating a havoc across the universe and all the devatas prayed to uh, Shiva and uh, Jaganmata, Adya Shakti and she was born as Himavat Putri, Shaila Putri and she grew up she was trained and taught by none other than Devarshi Narada and she grew up into a beautiful young maiden ready to get married to Shiva. Now Shiva comes to Himavan's place and seeks for a place for Tapasya and Himavan is very happy because he was anticipating, he was waiting to meet Shiva and Parvati was appointed for a service. But in between the Devatas were in a haste. They thought suddenly we'll do something and create a uh, romantic feel between Shiva Parvati and uh, Manmatha and Vasanta were sent to intervene and create an artificial spring season and uh, Manmatha shot his flower uh, Pushpa Barnas onto Shiva. For a moment she was, was distracted but then he realized it is Manmatha as a mischief and he burnt him down with his third eye and just disappeared. Now Parvati was aghast. I never did anything wrong but why did Shiva just go away? Why did he not answer to me? Why did he not marry me? So Parvati was a woman of potential. She was not a cheap woman to say, oh, come on and become a vengeful of Shiva. She rather thought, Shiva is a Yogeshwara. So he expects me also to become a Yogeshwari. Now I'm just a nice, beautiful teenage girl, rich girl, learned, okay. But I'm just enjoying all the pleasures, all the three times I eat and I'm enjoying the comforts of a palace. I have to become a Yogeshwari to become, become the wife of the Yogeshwara Shiva. So she goes to Gauri Shikhara, one of the tallest peaks and performs very, very, very tough tapasya. She performs Panchagni tapasya in uh, summer when she has fire pies or on site and she is gazing at the sun from morning to evening. Then she performs uh, tapasya standing on one foot all day, chanting the Panchakshari during the rainy season, exposing herself to the rain. Then she performs the, uh, she stands neck deep in uh, ice clad uh, lakes for uh, doing the Panchakshari Japa during winter. And she does uh, lots of terrible fasting and terrible uh, types of austerities and she um, she conditions her body to every kinds of hardships. She completely tra sacrifices all the pleasures of palace, all the ornaments, all the riches, all the silken garments and wears only bark garments, has a jata on her head. So she becomes a great tapasvini, ugra tapasvini. She performs a tapasya in such a way that the whole world is amazed. All the rishis come and see her and get ideas as to how to perform austerities. So she is the Brahmacharini. Uh, she is doing the Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya refers to celibacy also. Brahmacharya means Brahmani Charati. She is doing the Tapasya of the, she is doing the Dhyana of the Param Brahma Swarupa, Shiva Swarupa. And it also means Brahma means Veda. She is doing Veda Dhyana. She is leading the life of a celibate, doing Veda Dhyana. And she is performing the Yajna of Shiva. So she is uh, Brahma also means Yajna. So she is the Brahmacharini. On this day we worship her in this form. We worship Devi as clad in uh, bark ornaments or white, pure white garments, wearing Rudraksha Mala, having a jata on her head and having only a Japamani and a Kamandalu in her hand and doing Tapasya. So today is the very very spiritual, ascetic and very detached form of Devi which we worship. Life is not about just enjoying some trivial pleasures. It's also about disconnecting from everything. And those who know the art of connecting and disconnecting them from the world are the happiest people. If you are desperately connected and obsessed and cannot give up and someday that goes away, we are miserable, we, are, we go into depression and we get all the psychosomatic diseases, then we have not understood the art of living. Living is about how to connect and to disconnect. So Brahmacharini teaches us how to disconnect from life also. When we have a healthy range, we can see properly. When we are, if something is too close to our eyes, we can't see clear. 
when it is away we can't see clear there should be a healthy visual range similarly in life also our family our profession our friends our material belongings everything is important to us no doubt but we should always maintain our distance also so that virakti helps us in anurakti also love and detachment go hand in hand so brahmacharini teaches us that she is a great beautiful parvati ready to marry shiva with lot of love in her was it but she's also the great brahmacharini totally detached in such a way that shiva has to come running to her to seek her hand so this is the great brahmacharini and uh, we are proud of that form because a nari a woman is not about just being a wife or a mother she is also a tapasvini an ascetic she is a gnana swarupini and she also stands in brahmacharya perhaps across the world it is only in the sanatana dharma bauddha jaina sanatana adi dharma born in bharata where we see women or also ascetics women or yoginis women or masters women or gurus women are great tapasvinis so she is the icon for all the tapasvis and all the tapasvinis so let brahmacharini devi bless us with spiritual knowledge with virakti with gnana which makes us our life in the world and beyond the world successful with these words i wish you all again a very very happy sharan navaratrotsava namaste